Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Today I will be covering on a transistor just to uh, illustrate on how a transistor can be used as a switch and uh, also can be used for current uh, amplification. Alright, so for this example I'm using uh, TIP 32C uh, PNP transistor so let me briefly show you on uh, how this circuit is being uh, connected so first of all let's start with uh, the power supply so over here we have the power supply and uh, this power supply is connected to the collector uh, pin of a transmitter right so uh, just just for your information that we have uh, the leftmost leg of the transistor would be base and the middle leg would be collector and the rightmost pin would be emitter right so the load is always connected to the emitter side which is why it's known as emitter right so it's gonna emit uh, amplified current or voltage sorry amplified current my bad so uh, the voltage in this scenario is not going to be amplified or, or pretty much in transistor usage we're not going to amplify voltage right so only going to amplify current uh, okay so we have back to where we were before so we have our uh, positive uh, power supply being connected to the collector and and subsequently uh, this is the emitter extension of the transistor it's it is then connected to the uh, a dc motor it's a dc pump actually and then uh, the other end is connected to the ground right so just so that you can see i have ground but over here i haven't connected my my negative power supply yet just to because i don't want to turn on the switch yet so i'm just keeping it as it of uh, for now, so later I'll be connecting my negative terminal to that uh, to that uh, ground knob. All right. So uh, now there's another part of that uh, transistor leg, uh, which is uh, base. So the base will be connected to to two uh, resistors. I'm just putting in these two resistors just to limit the amount of current that's going to pass through base. All right. So base has a certain uh, current maximum reading so just be sure to check on that just just in case uh, you, you don't want to exceed that current what uh, limit right if you exceed then you, it's quite likely that you're going to fry your transistor right so this is a PNP transistor right so uh, always remember with PNP transistor the base needs to be uh, negatively induced right if it's an N npn then the base needs to be positively induced right so this is the base leg and it's connected to two series uh, two resistor in series and after that it's connected to the negative right so i'm going to just go ahead and uh, plug this in right the power supply you see as as soon as it is plugged in uh, i'm not sure if you can hear it uh, the motor starts running All right, let me just stabilize that I'll take the power supply it's off now it's on it's off All right so now that that is an example on how uh, the transistor works as a switch right so uh, the current supplied to the base will then uh, allow current flow in the uh, collector to emitter circuit okay so uh, some some circuit uh, schematics can be quite confusing but uh, once you try to actually set up your real circuit then then you'll probably get a picture of it right so I've shown you on how uh, transistor can be used as a switch now I'm just going to demonstrate on how uh, it actually works for current amplification okay so i have my so uh, in order to show current amplification i'm going to use uh two uh, voltmeters right so i'm going to just keep this aside for now i need to make space for myself so uh 
I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna break the circuit because in order to show current you need to break the circuit unlike voltage you can just uh, measure across the components right so I'm gonna just break the circuit like this all right and then keep this over here okay so let's just put this over here and see just to show how much current is flowing through right so the current that is flowing through would be uh, I really need to take this out it's making too much noise so it's uh, negative negative 0 0.02 okay I've, I've already set this to current and it's measuring across uh, 20 yeah, milliamperes all right so which is 0 0.02 uh, do, don't worry too much about the about the polarity because after all this is a, a PNP okay so it, it's going to be negative right so now I'm going to measure the voltage across uh, across the load okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break this right as usual like i said before in order to measure current you need to just break the circuit right so i'm gonna put i'm gonna use another jumper just to connect to my emitter leg and uh, i'm gonna take my voltmeter the negative the positive is going to be connected to this side sorry my bad it's going to be on this side right so I'm just I've just disconnected the circuit and uh, I'm going to use it to measure current right so if you could see uh, the motor is running and uh, I've broken the circuit right after the emitter leak before it goes to the uh, DC pump right just to show this part Right, I, I have my jumpers breaking the circuit like this. Alright, so these two are the voltmeter leaks. Okay, so the red one goes to the red knob at the voltmeter and the black one goes to the ground. Alright, so if you can see, over here the current is 0 0.1 and over here the current is 0 0.02. Alright, so this is a clear... Uh, makes too much noise so this is a clear example of uh, current amplification on on the on the base side we only have 0. Point, uh, we only have 0 0.02 as we can see over here and uh, over here we have 0. Point, it's close to 0. 0.1 right so so that's uh, 10 you can say it's a gain of 10 right so which is good so I'm just doing this to, to show that uh, transistor can be used as a switch and also it can be used for current amplification okay so hope you have learned something from this video feel free to comment uh, I know the jumpers connection can be a bit confusing so if you just need anything just feel free to drop your comment I'll try my best to answer each and every one of your questions thank you until then bye bye